and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my most favorite episode of Skincare November. In today's video, as you guys can read from the title, we are going to be doing part 3 of 5 sunscreens oily skin tested. I cannot believe you guys. I have tried more than 50 sunscreens at this point I've tried even more but of course up till now on my videos I've talked about 15 sunscreens that I have actually tried and tested on my skin and in today's video we have some very very newer very very trending and very very talked about sunscreen and I am super excited to share my reviews on them so let's get started Okay, so before we begin, I know there are a few things like as we progress through the series, I do miss out on and one thing that I want to do from now on is try to be as inclusive as I can and not miss out on other topics which are important and relevant to the products that I'm talking about. Things about sunscreen that I do miss out on include whether they are physical, chemical or hybrid. I have mentioned but sometimes I just do miss out on that. Second thing is if they are pregnancy safe or not and other thing is if they are sweat proof, waterproof or water resistant. So I'm going to try and include that but in case I do miss out, leave your queries in the comments down below. I would love to answer them for you guys. Now I need to make this disclaimer that none of the sunscreen in today's video are pregnancy safe. I know a lot of you guys have been asking but the sunscreen that I have tried till now the physical ones have not worked for me and I put in my money to try out sunscreen so I need to do my research and need to be sure that I will be able to use that sunscreen and empty that tube so in case I do find out good physical sunscreens and I'm always here to share it with you guys either on my YouTube or on my Instagram so uh, let's see if I do find out but as of today's video none of them are pregnancy safe so uh, if you're looking for something like that I think you should skip this video but if you're looking for good hybrid and chemical sunscreen, then please keep on watching. Okay, the very first sunscreen that I have tried, which is the most expensive and my least favorite sunscreen in this video is the Cos IQ Serum SPF 50 sunscreen. It says it has full spectrum protection of UVA, UVB, IR, PA++++ plus rating now this one retails for rupees 699 for 30 ml oh my god this is the most expensive sunscreen that i hated i absolutely hated i mean not that much but now that i see that i've tried different sunscreens i think this is absolutely not worth your money i know when this came in and especially when they came in on shark tank this sunscreen blew up on social media and that's why i thought you know what let me give it a try like if it claims it's giving a nice finish if it's not leaving a white cast if it's so comfortable on the skin i need to try this out this leave the white cast which does take a while to blend in so yeah it's not easily blend nahi ho jata hai. i use my fingers i try to blend it in i try to tap 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 so it takes a minute or so to settle down now this leaves like a very natural to a shiny finish which does make you feel like okay there is something on your face it is not extremely lightweight as it claims another thing is that when you reapply this again i am not a great fan of this because it does make my skin feel oily and greasy as the day progresses i personally don't feel this is sweat proof waterproof it might be water resistant to some point but i don't think it is uh, even though they have claimed that it is sweat proof and water resistant with no white cast since i am someone who's from the fairer skin tone comparatively as compared to our indian skin tones i don't know how this leaves a white cast on other skin tones but the white cast on this takes a while to settle on my face so I can only imagine how it's going to look on darker skin tones. All in all, not my most favorite sunscreen. I think out of 10, I would rate this a 4.
Next up in the line, we have the Lakme Sun Expert Ultra Matte Gel Sunscreen, which contains SPF of 50 and PA++. Now, this one retails for rupees 525 for 100 grams. I was super excited to try this one out since I do love the Lakme Lotion Sunscreen. If you guys want to know what my thoughts are, I will leave the video up here. You can watch it out. I really really liked that sunscreen and I thought like this would be a game changer if this works because it's a gel sunscreen so white ka settle hone ke liye bhi time nahi lagega and it's gonna be super lightweight but again this is the same like the lotus gel sunscreen it has a very thick gel consistency and when you apply it on the skin it spreads like that thick gel but you know this pills like crazy if you have a gel based moisturizer underneath it's gonna pill if you have to reapply it it's gonna pill after a while it's gonna pill it's not sweat proof it's not waterproof it's not even water resistant you're gonna feel that there is something constantly on your skin this might give a natural to a matte finish but other than that i am not a fan of this sunscreen and i think i'm gonna rate this a three out of ten just in case, this one is a purely chemical sunscreen. The next sunscreen. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm just going to show you guys the first one. And look at this. I have two repurchases of this sunscreen and this is the first time first time out of trying 15 sunscreens i have repurchased a sunscreen not once but twice you can already see youtube almost khatam ho gaye. oh my god the dr shade ceramide and vitamin c sunscreen with spf of 50 pa plus 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 is my favorite sunscreen you guys i have found the sunscreen for me i have finally found the sunscreen that i love the most and this is beating face guard i kid you not you guys know until now face guard was on the top of my list but this sunscreen just beat it all away this is a hybrid sunscreen this one retails for rupees 499 for i think this is 50 grams yes and first of all, it is so affordable. You do get discount on Dr. Shades as well, around 20% off. And if you buy it on buy one, get one, which I got these two on buy one, get one. I got two sunscreens for 499 rupees. Can you even imagine? It is such a steal deal. Now, this one has a thick gel consistency and once you apply it on the skin it leaves such a beautiful cooling sensation no white cast absolutely whatsoever me and khushi have actually tried this sunscreen we are two different skin types and skin tones and both of us are in love with this one i will leave a link to a shorts video right here where we try this sunscreen out you can watch that out as well and it leaves a cooling sensation it blends in so beautifully it gives a very hydrated a very glowy look which is not heavy not greasy at all and when someone from oily skin is saying it's not oily heavy or greasy you best believe it what i like to do with this one is skip my moisturizer i've been loving hydrating and nourishing and moisturizing sunscreens on my face it's not very heavy or moisturizing trust me it is a beautiful sunscreen and please like if you're looking for one sunscreen out of my entire channel and out of my 15 sunscreens that i have tried give this one a try this deserves all the love and all the investment and all the money that you spend on sunscreens just get this one i am sure you're not gonna be disappointed and yes this one is sweat proof and water resistant i don't know if it's waterproof because i have not usually tried but reapplication is also really really smooth it's a great sunscreen guys i don't even know what to talk about this sunscreen trust me just get your hands on this one i absolutely love this one i'm gonna rate this a 10 out of 10 
If you're looking for a dupe or something similar to the Dr. Shades one, I have the Dermaco 1% Hyaluronic Sunscreen Aqua Gel, which has SPF 50 PA++++, which is a higher PA rating than the Dr. Shades one. And it also has blue light protection. This one again retails for 499 rupees for 50 grams. And this one comes with a pump a packaging. It's an airless pump, which is very, very new in the market and very, very convenient to use this is quite similar but its texture is quite runny as compared to the doctor shades one goes on the skin very beautifully no white cast whatsoever i have my first impressions on this one i will leave that up here as well i use this in goa and it did help me quite a bit to prevent tanning yes i did tan i mean i didn't have any option i was on the beach but this one worked really well i use this every day in my college as well it works beautifully for me. It's a very lightweight sunscreen and gives a very hydrated finish. Not as hydrated and glowy as the Dr. Shades, but it works beautifully. Not heavy or greasy. This will scoot all skin types. And again, this one is a hybrid sunscreen. This has been a talk of the town for a whole while now. And I understand why it is so. It is a beautiful sunscreen. Again, if you're looking for a good one, I would definitely recommend this one. I'm going to rate this an 8.5 out of 10. Last one, we have the Sun Scoop Invisible Sunscreen with SPF 40, PA++++, broad spectrum, blue light protection, water and sweat resistance. The amount of claims and the amount of hype this sunscreen has received claiming it to be a dupe of the Super Goop Invisible Sunscreen. I had been eyeing this one for so long and I think I finally got this on a very great discount. So I decided to buy it because this is expensive as well. This one retails for 675 rupees for 45 grams. That's expensive. Okay, now this again has a list of like a whole clean ingredients where it's like made in India, cruelty free, vegan, I think, and stuff like that. But I tried this again. It's maybe I have my first impressions. I will link that up here. I thought it's a great sunscreen. The only thing is it's not my personal favorite sunscreen. So this is an invisible gel sunscreen, but it's like a silicone based sunscreen. Now this is a purely chemical sunscreen. So it is entirely like a silicone based sunscreen. This is exactly like your Lakme and Nika ka gel primers. If you have used that, I think all of us at one point have used that. Ye bil cool uske hai texture mein. It's purely a silicone based sunscreen. To apply karoge to tumko feel hoga that silicone texture. And this is the most silicone sunscreen that I have ever used. Yes, it ni it's nice. It gives a very natural finish to the skin. It does not have any white cast. It might be a dupe of the super goop invisible because I have not tried it. All in all, I think it's an okay product because I feel like now I have moved on to off from very silicone, very matte sunscreens to more natural and hydrating sunscreens that are comfortable and lightweight on the skin. It looks like a heaviness. Lagta hai. And I don't think it might be water and sweat resistant since it's silicone, it's just going to slip off. It might be resistant, but like once you up touch your face, it's going to be that slippery feeling and... I don't think this is going to be great under makeup, especially if you're someone with oily skin, your skin ka oil plus the silicone texture. I think this is going to wash your makeup off like so. So all in all, I felt it's an okay sunscreen and I don't think I would be repurchasing this. It's a nice sunscreen. So if you're looking for something like this, it's definitely a great sunscreen. It does what it claims, but... I don't think I would be repurchasing this one and this I would rate it I think 7 out of 10. And with that we come to an end of this video. I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys found the reviews and recommendations helpful. Leave new sunscreen for me to try out in the comments down below and I will hopefully see you in my next sunscreens video. Till then, bye guys.